horizontal plane called the transverse plane. So that's any kind of twisting motion that happens in a horizontal plane. Does that happen in tennis? Absolutely. Now, another plane would be a plane that divides the body into a front and a back side, right? A frontal plane. So that would be this kind of action that goes along the frontal plane, a somersaulting. Is that somersaulting? Yeah, that's somersaulting, right? If you go this way. Cartwheel. Somersault. Cartwheel. Cartwheel. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Cartwheel. It's a cartwheeling action. Then there's another plane called the sagittal plane that divides you in left and right. That's somersaulting, right? When you go forward, well. So all of those things happen in tennis, is that correct? Let's have these guys serve a couple balls. Could you guys serve a couple balls to each other? Go ahead. Okay. Look at the transverse plane. Horizontal plane. Is he using that? Serving? Absolutely, you bet he's using that, right? This is twisting. This is a twisting or rotating action. Seth, why don't you serve it back? Okay, let's take a look to see if he uses that transverse plane action. Are you doing this? Are you driving up your hitting shoulder up in the air? So that is a cartwheeling action in essence, and that's called shoulder over shoulder rotation. Are they both doing that? And are they doing that to, you, to the extent that you're comfortable with it? All right, Seth, let's, let's take a look. Pretty good, shoulder over shoulder, not bad right there, right? All right, serve a couple serves, serves back to him. All right, let's see if Scott has a good cartwheeling action, shoulder over shoulder. What do you think? Pretty good? Okay, the final one, your somersaulting action. In your serve, it, you always end up doing some of some of this, where it's a somersaulting action, does that exist as well? Remember your trunk, or your, basically from the shoulders down to your, your pelvis, that's, I would call that the trunk. Your trunk is the biggest body part, so you need to get a lot of action from that, and, and you won't get injured as easily. So your trunk is very important in tennis, in injury prevention. Your trunk allows you to do the shoulder over shoulder action, your trunk allows you to do the rotation part, and your trunk allows you to do the flexion part where you do this forward somersaulting action. I always get my cartwheels and somersaults confused. You need to work with your students staying away from that jackknifing action too much in the serve. All right, so that's a, that's a giveaway, that giveaway, that there's a weakness there.